Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's the first day of mowing. We're getting ready to leave the shop here and uh, get on with it. It's going to be a beautiful day, so uh, catch you at the properties. Just got to swing the quick trip quick, get gas, and uh, we'll be on our way. Had to pop into Woodman's quick. They have a machine in there that lets you get a new sticker for your license plate. I had to renew my plates. It took less than two minutes, no big deal. You guys can clown on me a little bit today because I brought the zero turn, first day of mowing. First day of mowing with a zero turn. And uh, I gotta get comfortable on it, but I'm hoping to do a decent job with it, but we shall see. So we got this beautiful property. We did it for snow. To get down to a grass patch on the other side of the pool, I gotta come through this gate. And then there's another grass patch up on the side of the house, which I go through a different gate for, but other than that, not too bad. Should be able to do most of it on the zero turn pretty easily. Beautiful here. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming probably around an hour cut with everything said and done. Arby's, Taco Bell, Culver's, Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts. It all sounds so delicious. All right, there might be a little dust on the bottle, but uh, we're getting them done. This one, we were here last year i upped the price and uh i'm happy with the price this year so can't wait to mow it If that's what uh, four hours on a zero turn can produce, imagine four years. Sheesh, can't believe that's my first day ever on a zero turn, but uh, I'm happy to be out here and delivering cuts that my clients deserve. All right, most know this property from mowing snow, spring cleanups, fall cleanups. While I was mowing here, the neighbor right there asked me how much I told him my price and they said that's great price so I mowed it for him and now I just have to stop once cut twice and bada bing bada boom we get on to the next one doubled our profits here so not mad about that if I can get some more in this neighborhood even better all right just finishing up at my last property here and someone is tooting their horn but uh yeah all right well I will talk to you guys once I leave this neighborhood and get on a backcountry road and have some thoughts in my head. All right. So first day of mowing of the season is in the books. All the properties I had to get done today, I got done. We only did eight today in like seven hours. More than okay with me. We got more to do on Tuesday, which is tomorrow and Wednesday. So we got three days of mowing this year and only 19 clients. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from this one quote that was for their commercial building and for their house that would bring me up to 20 clients, 21 properties technically. So let's hope we hear back from them. Um, the Aaron's Razor, I, I don't hate it. I actually like it. It'd be really good if you were just like push mowing a whole yard, but for borders, it's fine, you know, I mean, Maybe a cheaper front wheel drive one would have been good too, but you know, we got this one now and well, you know, hey, can't be too mad, you know? And then the Gravely, oof duh. What an attention getter that one is. I had two neighbors come talk to me today. One neighbor actually wanted me to cut their yard, so I did. So now I, you know, like I said earlier in the video, um, stop once, cut twice, double the money for one stop. I love that. I got a couple snow clients like that. It's the best. But uh, yeah, the Gravely. Nice ride. That Kawasaki engine, super nice. 
big difference between seven miles per hour forward and five miles per hour forward on the Cub Cadet, I'll tell you that. Um, it saved me a bunch of time today already, um, probably just in speed cutting across yards, but the maneuverability, you know, they say it'll save you a bunch of time and they're not wrong, but that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, cheers to more bids and vids. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.